Today we're going to check out two versions of the classic Hallelujah, Jeff Buckley's version and Leonard Cohen's original version. Two different keys, two different strumming patterns, a great song either way. Let's start with the original. Leonard Cohen's version requires no capo. Uh, the chords you'll need, C, A minor, and I want you to notice how easy it is to change from C to A minor, right? Ring finger is all that really actually has to leave the guitar and move. C to A minor. You need F, and if you have any worries about your F chord, check out the video I made all about the F chord. There's a link to it in the description to this video. It's called What the F? All sorts of tips about playing the F chord. You need a G, and as usual, I'm going to recommend G with your middle ring and pinky. It comes in handy for lots of reasons. And lastly, you need E7. And notice that G to E7, which you'll have to do for Leonard Cohen's version, the middle finger, the second finger, stays in the same place either way. There it is for G, and there it is for E7. Knowing that will help you make a smoother transition between those chords. Now, the strumming. This song is in waltz time, three, four time, has the feeling of boom, chick, chick, boom, chick, chick. So because there's not a distinctive guitar part happening during Leonard Cohen's version, we have a little freedom, right? We can play whatever appropriate, you know, whatever fits. So I got my C chord, I'm hitting the note C, fifth string, third fret, with a downstroke, and then two light strums on the remaining strings. And when I do those light strums, I'm definitely loosening my grip to get a nice light sound. Boom, chick, chick, boom. Now, for the most part, it's two boom chick chicks uh, per chord. C to A minor. There's going to be uh, one little exception in the um, in the verse, and uh, occasionally you might stay on it for four boom chicks. I'll make it clear when you get into the tune, okay? But basically, the boom chick chick sound is what you want. The very first stroke, though, is going to change. Uh, it's the fifth string for C. It's the fifth string for A minor. For G, it's going to be the 6th string. For E7, it's going to be the 6th string. For F, it really depends how you finger F. Uh, for right now, for today's video, I'm going to, even though I'm squeezing the 5th string, I'm going to pluck the 4th string, 3rd fret, because that's the note F. Okay, you don't have to do it that way, but that's what you're going to see me do. So the root note leads the way, and you sort of answer back with the rest of the chord. A light touch is super important, although I give the pick a little bit of a squeeze when I hit that bass note. So it pops out in a nice distinctive sort of way. Okay, got the idea? Now let's get into Leonard Cohen's original, but don't forget to stick around because we're going to grab a capo and I'm going to show you Jeff Buckley's version too after this. Here comes Leonard Cohen. So when you see a chord name on the screen there, the chord name represents two boom chicks. If you see two of the same chord names in a row, it's because it's four boom chicks. The only exception here is uh, that tight F G sequence about halfway through the verse. You're going to see me strum just three regular F chords with three regular strums and three Gs right in a row like that. Partly because it goes by fast, and I want to take the time to pick out individual notes, and partly because it's a very dramatic part of the verse, and I want to add to that drama with nice full strums like that. You see what I mean? Okay, ready to get started? On the count of two. A one, two. I heard there was a secret chord that David played, and it pleased the Lord. Okay, there's the verse, right? Very straightforward, right into the uh, chorus. Notice that the chorus uh, for the whole beginning part is four boom chicks per, uh, per chord. Ready? Grab your F chord. Hallelujah. 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 
you can vamp on that C chord until you're ready to start singing the, uh, the verse again, because the verse starts on a C chord, right? Okay, so there you have the Leonard Cohen original version in the key of C, uh, no capo involved. If you're dying to avoid that F chord, then stay tuned, because uh, here comes Jeff Buckley's capoed up version, and I promise you, no F chord. I've listened closely to Jeff Buckley's version of this tune. I've watched his video as well. And here's what I've come up with. Capo at the sixth fret. The chords you need are G with a middle ring and pinky, E minor, C, D, and B7. B7, not the hardest chord, but not the easiest either. Now, I'll admit, Jeff Buckley doesn't always play his G with a middle ring and pinky, but that's definitely what I suggest for, uh, for your fingering on this chord. Okay, now what I really want to talk about is what he's doing with his right hand. He's playing an electric guitar, which by its very nature is a loud, jangling instrument, right? And he's playing with his bare fingers using a really light touch. Now, he's not doing just one pattern that gets him through the whole song. So I want to give you an estimate, an average, of what he's doing with his uh, picking hand to get you in the ballpark. And you can use this as a foundation to uh, build or create whatever pattern works for you. Here's the idea. With your bare fingers, you can do a thumb stroke on three bass strings. I should say three thumb strokes followed by three upstrokes using one or two of your remaining fingers. Index is good. And you get this kind of six note pattern. And you can ghost some of those notes, which means you sort of omit the note. There's still room for six things to happen, but maybe the second or the fourth or something isn't audible, right? But the listener feels the feeling of one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Okay, so this is a good foundation. Three bass notes with your thumb and three upstrokes with your finger. All right, so let's get started. You've got your capo position, you've got your chords, picking hand ready to go. Here it comes. As usual, I want to say thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget, give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate that, too. And more videos are available at my website, Songbike. So check that out, too. Okay, I've got my capo, I've got my G chord. Uh, just like in Leonard Cohen's version, we're going to get to a point where I break out of the pattern I showed you about halfway through the verse, and you'll hear me do three thumb strokes on the C and three on the D, right? And then we'll go back into the pattern. Okay, here it comes. On the count of two, one, two. I heard there was a sacred chord that day. There's the verse, and now for the uh, the chorus, C. Lots of time on the C's and E minors here, right? Here it comes. Okay, so nice and light and loose with your picking hand. Okay, everybody, that'll do it for today. Another classic song to add to your repertoire, okay? Enjoy it and see which version works best for you. I will see you for another great song tomorrow.